Okay, let's talk about the GED, and specifically we're going to be talking about the years 2021 to 2022, and uh, of course the topic of this video is how to study uh, for the math section. So if you're not familiar with the GED, okay, of course I'm if you're watching this video, I'm assuming you are preparing for the GED, and you uh, probably already know it's a high school equivalency uh, test. You got to take this if you didn't finish high school. Uh, now, more than ever, it's just becoming increasingly more important to have your high school equivalency. So, whether it's the GED or TASC or high set um, exam, you definitely want to get your GED, okay? But some of you may not know that math is that number one topic that that stops people from getting uh, their high school equivalency, okay? It's, it's the toughest topic for most people. So if you're in that situation, you know, this video is going to help you out, right? So before we get going, uh, let me go ahead and introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tabba Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And I also have a great GED math test prep course. It's been out there for many, many years. Uh, thousands of people have used it uh, successfully. So I'm going to leave a link to this uh, uh, course, my GED math prep course, in the description of this video if that's something you want to check out. All right, so back to uh, the GED. So we're talking about the years 2021 uh, going into 2022. So I'm making this video in 2021. So really, nothing has really changed about the GED since about 2013, 2014 uh, time frame, okay? At that time, there was a significant change, uh, and basically GED for uh, more, basically it became more challenging, all right? You know, some people might say, well, no, that's not true. Uh, in my opinion, and I've uh, been doing this for many, many, many years, the older GED was a little bit easier to study for. So if you're talking to somebody who took their GED 15 years ago and they're like, oh, yeah, that was easy. I just did this, this, and this. You don't want to be taking advice, you know, uh, and I'm not saying that, hey, that, that person isn't trying to, let it, you know, uh, help you, okay? But you got to be careful from taking advice from someone who had the G took the GED 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 years ago because the GED has been around for decades, okay? Now, some of these other tests, like the high set and task, are, are pretty new, relatively new. Uh, so um, the, my main point here is this, okay? Since 2014, you know, the GED um, has changed, and it's basically uh, testing more like, say, really it's testing you obviously on high school level mathematics but it's testing you to the point where uh, do you have the math um, ability to enter into college okay so it's not going to be like real basic math you are going to have you know a good amount of algebra and geometry it really is you know high school level mathematics that you're going to be facing so with that being said let's go ahead and just get into some major concepts um and uh, general, uh, you know, concepts of how to study for math for the GED, okay? So let's get into the first one, all right? So the first thing that you want to do, okay, to study for the GED is you need to check your mindset, all right? Your mindset. So you're saying, well, what does that have to do with math? Well, that has everything to do with math because... This is probably the number one area where uh, students kind of defeat themselves, right? And it kind of goes like this. You know, a lot of students will say, have this programming, and I can understand why they have it, right? So I'm, it's not like I'm trying to call you out or saying, hey, why do you have that? Because this is normal for human beings, and it's not just rel uh, specific to math. So what I'm talking about is this. The mindset is, oh, I am not good in math. I'm not good at math. I was terrible at math. I hate math. I'm so bad at math. There's no way I can pass math. There's no way I can learn this math. I'm just not good in math, yada, 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 right? If you have this mindset, guess what? That is going to be like a gigantic rock on top of your brain that's going to suppress your ability to learn, okay? You have to change this mindset. Now, you don't have to totally you know, let's say lie to yourself, okay? Because everyone has different aptitudes and whatnot. So maybe your, you know, math is not your thing, okay? But doesn't mean that you can't learn and 
do well on the GED, right? I've been uh, teaching math for decades, okay? And I could just tell you right now, the vast majority of people, especially in this in this category, people who say, oh, I just, I'm not good at math, the vast majority of those people can do very, very well in math, okay? But their biggest impediment, their biggest obstacle is their mindset because you have to find a way to change this. So a couple of things that you can start saying is just saying, start talking differently to yourself, all right? And being like, okay, I am going to figure this out. I am going to become good in math. Just because I was bad at math, I'm now going to make it my goal. I'm going to do whatever it takes to be good, to become good at math. Also use this video. Hey, this guy's telling me I can do good. I don't see why I can't improve and become better, etc. Now, one of the things too that you developed this mindset is when you were a child, okay? We think back, um, whether you're in elementary, you know, middle, uh, in high school. Now, of course, you know, obviously you didn't finish high school, you wouldn't be taking the GED, but somewhere along the line here, you dropped out. Guess what? You know, all of us, I know for me, okay, for, uh, many, many, many years ago, I was a pretty immature, immature knucklehead in high school, right? I didn't take my uh, studies seriously. As a matter of fact, I didn't even go to college uh, right after high school. I went in the Marine Corps, <laughs> and that was the best college prep program I got because it, you know, taught me discipline and, you know, commitment and all those type of things. So, you know, at, during these times, you can't judge yourself as an adult, uh, your, your ability as an adult, based upon how you were doing in school when you were young and distracted and immature, etc. right? You're, you are a different person. Your ability as an adult, you know, completely different. You're, it's 180 degrees. One, you're committed. Okay. You know, two, you're, you're, you're focused. All right. Um, you're, you're motivated, you know, etc. right? You, you know, you're a different person. So you can't gauge yourself, uh, your ability based upon your performance when you were kind of an immature, uh, student. All right. So, Use these little mental hacks uh, to help change your mindset. Give yourself the benefit of the doubt. You got to get this out of the way, um, or you know you're going to have a very difficult time learning. Okay, so the first thing is your mindset, and this is something you're going to have to work on every day. Okay, especially when you're doing math, you know, and you're like, you have a problem: two x equals negative two uh, thirds, or something like this. And you're like, I just can't do it. You know, you know, the math is difficult. I'm struggling with it. Guess what? When you're struggling and learning a particular math concept, your default mindset is going to go, oh, I'm bad at math. I knew it. I just, I'm terrible. I don't even know why I'm doing this. Da, 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 da. Okay. So it's during, you know, those times, this is a consistent thing. All right. You're going to have to just keep working at this. And the number one way to improve your mindset is to start basic. So let's go on to our next thing. So start with the basics, all right? Basics. So build your confidence up by, by not trying to just jump right in and start learning, you know, advanced algebra, geometry, and everything else. Start with the fundamentals, okay? So I don't care if it's like, hey, you got to do a bunch of problems like 1 plus 7, uh, three minus a doesn't make a difference and you're like get all these right that's fine okay build your confidence and the way you build your confidence up is by doing things that you can handle initially right this is very very important so start with the fundamentals start building your confidence up all right if you just jump right into things that you're like okay i know i got to learn this for the test but you don't really you haven't really you know built up your skill set all you're going to do is fail, 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 which is going to reinforce that super strong mindset that many of you out there have that you're bad at math, which is just you're going to be stuck in this vicious negative cycle. OK, now uh, with the basics here, OK, going along this, an another thing you need to be thinking about is, well, what is your study plan? OK, all right. Do you have a plan? All right. So. Here's what I've seen through uh, uh, many years. Uh, people will be like, well, I don't really have a plan. I'm kind of doing a little bit of YouTube. I'm doing a little bit of, you know, I got this book, et cetera. So their plan is not so coherent. It's a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this. 
what you need to do is really try to get yourself into a concrete math course, okay? So something like, say, my math course, for example, right? Yeah, and it doesn't have to be my math course, but maybe you can enroll in a GED uh, adult education math class. But get yourself into a formal course of uh, study, all right? You don't try to come up with your own plan, all right? There's plenty of things out there already kind of preset. So get yourself into an organized uh, study course. Really, really important, okay? So if you have a kind of disorganized plan, all right, it's, you're going to jump around. You're not going to get momentum, which, of course, is you're going to get frustrated. And, of course, it's going to, you know, exacerbate a negative mindset. So you're not going to get anywhere, right, well, going that way. So get yourself uh, into a good study plan, which means, you know, you want to get into a good course. Now, when we're speaking about uh, math courses here, let me ask you, what is the number one factor when you're taking any class, okay, for success? What's the number one factor? Now, I'm asking you this question. Well, let's just assume all of you want to do well in a particular class, okay? You're like, okay, I'm motivated. You show up and whatnot. What is the number one factor that's going to determine your personal success in that, that course? Well, I can tell you my answer, okay? And that is going to be the teacher, all right? Who is your teacher, okay? So if you think back when you were successful in school, all right, you were like uh, in particular classes, <clears throat> we all had that teacher, like I love that teacher because that teacher explained things so well, da, 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 da. Or that teacher was terrible because, you know, I couldn't understand them, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So when you're shopping around for a course, evaluate who is the teacher and you want to have a teacher especially you know this isn't 20 years ago you know 30 years ago where you know we didn't have a lot of uh, video out there although there were some video like you know vhs for those of you who are old enough to remember that there were study tapes for that uh, but you know with now you know with the with the internet you know you can go and you know uh find programs find a teacher that you like and understand. That's critical, okay? Because if you're learning these concepts and you're not understanding the teacher, well, you're you're gonna you know you're gonna really struggle. So before you commit to a program of study, really uh, find a teacher that you like, okay? So all right, so we got the mindset. We want to start with the basics, which means that hey, you got to have a plan, good good course, good good teacher. Now, another major thing to how to study for this is you need to have time, okay? You got to give yourself time, all right? And I see this problem all, all the time is people say, oh, I got to pass a GED. I got like five days to study for it because of my uh, work, you know, just said, hey, you need your GED, so I need a cram. Now, at this point, now this might be your situation. You may not have no alternative, okay? So I get that if you find yourself in that scenario. But here's the thing. It's all, it's, you're, all you're going to be doing is kind of gambling, if you will. If you're, you know, got like three, four, five days to study for the GED, you might be able to increase your skill set just a little bit, but you're really going to be relying on luck. So try to avoid this at all costs, okay? Now, how do you avoid um, this situation? Just assume that your job in six months from now is going to require you to have a GED. <laughs> just, just imagine, okay, I better get this thing taken care of, all right? So I would say for the math on the GED, you know, like six months is not an unreasonable amount of time, all right? At least three months, okay, of committed study, right? And that brings us to our next point, and that is going to be focus, all right? Focus. You're going to have to have a tremendous amount of focus in order to do well. You can't do a little bit of this and then be a little bit of that, you know, one day a week. That's not going to work. When you decide that you're going to want, you know, you want to pass a GED and math is a nemesis nemesis for you. Yeah, hopefully I said that <laughs> correctly. It's your weak point. It's the one thing that you're most afraid of. Well, the only way to tackle that is complete immersion, and you got to be focused, which means that you need to be working on math every day, all right? And you got to work a course of – there's a lot of topics to cover. There is a lot of, a lot of mathematics you're going to need to know for the for GED. So I'm not here to try to, you know, like water it down. Oh, no, no, it's going to be okay. 
it's going to be, you no, know, it's not going to be okay. <laughs> the, the, the failure rate for the GD is, um, I don't know what it exactly is, you know, now, but I know I've seen studies before where like, you know, well more, well over 50% of the people who take the GD do not pass. Okay. So, uh, and these are in course of different sections. So it's, pro it's very high. Okay. Why? Because people go in unprepared, right? You don't want to be unprepared. You have to be focused and you have to give yourself enough time and you have to have the right mindset. Okay. And the right course, the right teacher, et cetera. All right. But if you have all these elements, okay, for the most part here, all right, you're going to pass, you're going to pass the GED. Absolutely. There is nobody out there. You know, I know this sounds kind of outlandish. You're like, well, you know, how can you make that statement? It's my personal belief. That if you want this bad enough, okay, you, there's nobody that cannot pass uh, the GED math section. But of course, some of you are going to require a lot more time, right? Everyone's uh, starting point in terms of math skills are going to be different. Some of you are fresh, kind of like maybe you, you know, you, you left high school in the 11th grade. All right. And you were like a, a math superstar. A lot, you know, that's going to be much easier for somebody who's been out of school for 30 years. All right. I've seen people, um, take my, uh, GD math prep course, been out of school 40 years. Okay. 50 years. <laughs> it's not unheard of. Okay. And, you know, I think, uh, for decades, you know, a lot of people were able to kind of get through a, a job or career without requiring, you know, high school uh, diploma, high school equivalency, but it's getting tougher by the day. Okay. So if you don't have your GED, if you're thinking about your GED, but you're afraid of the math, I would just say this, listen, it's normal to be, you have to have anxiety about mathematics, totally get that. Okay. But you can do this, right? You're just going to have to toughen your mind up and you're going to, you know, that's what it comes down to. You know, uh, you're an adult, you, you're, you're motivated. This is about your future. Okay. So you just get this mindset, right? So if I, you know, the biggest thing, if you, if there's one takeaway from this video, if you forget everything else, uh, remember the mindset. Okay. What you feed into your mind, your thoughts and whatnot is going to control your future, uh, performance, but you can do this. All right. So listen, I don't want to, um, go any further, take any more of your precious time. Uh, but again, uh, if you are looking for an excellent GED math uh, prep course, uh, I'm going to leave a link to uh, my course in the description of this video. Uh, I think you'll really, really like it. Um, also, uh, please consider subscribing to my channel, I'm posting videos like this all the time. If you enjoyed the video, please uh, give it a thumbs up and leave me some feedback. What's your situation with the GD? Is this the first time you're trying to pass it? Or maybe you've been trying to uh, pass it for a while, but math has just been tripping you up. But uh, with that being said, I definitely appreciate your time and I wish you all the best and have a great day.